And actually, I'll make a little correction to myself because this last one technically isn't a bill. This is a cash purchase. I went out somewhere and I just wrote a check or used a debit card. So how do we do that? Well, we start the same way. We start by going up to the task menu. But this time, instead of doing bills, we're actually going to write a check. Hopefully this looks vaguely you familiar the check to you. Number it's blank. supposed to look like but a if check. You actually hand wrote Remember a that check, if you're going you to go ahead and put in the check, check number. I'll put in 273. If you actually paid using a debit card, you could put in a different type of designation like EFT for electric funds transfer or something like that. We need to put in a vendor. This actually was at a restaurant where I went to eat crepes called Andrea's Crepes. I'm just going to call it a crepe as our ID. I'll press tab. It blinks at me, which is fine. And now I need to fill in the rest of the information. Under the pay to the order of, we want to go ahead and type that name out. This again would be very important if we were going to be actually printing a hard copy of the check. Then I can go and I can enter the amount of the transaction. We spent $23.42 on crepes. It's always a good idea to include Tina's memos on your checks. You made the purchase. Just as a reminder, sometimes you may not remember comes, exactly what you made for a purchase well. at an office supply store. I'm going to say that I took my banker to lunch. Isn't that nice of me? Now we have a couple more things that we have to look at. First of all, on the upper right hand corner is where we designate what our cash account was. And again, this one's currently coming out of the regular checking account. We could select any of our checking accounts to do this. It also is going to show us an account balance, which we can go ahead and calculate if we need to. And at the bottom, this is where we actually put in the expense account. Well, I went out and I bought some food that I used for doing some uh, marketing, if you will, or maybe some business development. So you might need to look through your list to figure out where this one actually fits in. Let's see if we can see anything that might work. We could simply use the other option which we usually have in our chart of accounts, which is just to designate this as an other expense. Remember that while I'm not giving tax advice, there are certain limitations of what you can count for meals and entertainment. Usually it's not 100%. So Check maybe your account part that went somewhere and part somewhere else. Notice that we also can we split have a description, expense. which is other expense, which we could leave. Or because we're going to try to lump things together into this general category, maybe I could designate here that it was for entertainment. Once again, we also could designate this to be paid as part of a specific job. That's all there is to it. I knew you'd find this easy because the more you work with Peachtree, the more you find things are more similar than different. We're getting really used to working with these forms as well as these fields. I'm going to click Save. I'm going to click Setup, and I know you kind of get tired of seeing that, but remember, you're usually not doing a whole bunch of these at one time. Usually they're just on occasion, and as you get your file set up, you'll have fewer and fewer vendors that you have to enter once you already enter them the first time. Let me go ahead and type in the name. and the expense account. Save and close. Then I'll save and close my writing of checks. And we've now been through the process of working through all kinds of different ways to receive bills and either pay them later pay part of them or all of them at one time, or simply put in that we wrote a check or used a debit card at the time we received a service or a product.